The rollback season in Spain, uh, generally speaking, starts in April, the beginning of April, and it goes all the way to, to October, with a break in between during the month of, of August. During this period, which is, which is actually very long, we are mainly focused in hunting in, during late March uh, for this specific region, and then April and May. Uh, although there is a region in northern part of Spain where we are also allowed to, to hunt during the month of March. Even though it might be rainy at the beginning of April, it's usually very nice weather, which obviously makes it very, very nice, very interesting because you, it gives you a very good opportunity to combine a bit of hunting with a bit of tourism and, and make it a, a whole Spanish experience. On the European side, even though we have plenty of countries where robots are actually huntable, Spain has become within the last, I would say, 10 to 15 years in a, in a reference for them as well, because uh, due to certain criteria, robots have, have, have been known by the extraordinary quality of the, of, the, of the trophies. And that's why we get people or hunters every year coming just looking for for big, special, or, or even abnormal Robux. At the same time, during uh, the Robux season, uh, they can perfectly combine it with other game species, such as uh, Chamois, whether it's the Pyrenean or the Cantabrian, or, or our worldwide reference, which is the, the four uh, Ibex uh, subspecies. So it's seven in the morning, early, quite early. The days are getting long and long, and, and we're hunting Robux in Spain. So we're gonna go and walk through some uh, different fields where we've spotted a few big bucks and see if we're lucky for today. There are several conversations or discussions going on about what makes uh, robot quality in Spain uh, so 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 good and even though there's obviously nothing that have been scientifically proved we believe that there are three four factors that are key to to produce what the the kind of robots that that we have in Spain one is basically that Spain has had uh, densities of robots since 15 years ago
So it's new territories, and these are areas where densities are, are not meant to be very, very high. That has an effect on the stress of the individuals. And the lower the stress, it's, it's been proved that, that the better the trophies are. The other one, of course, is a genetics factor. We have a very, very good genetics. And one factor that is also under consideration is that the management that we do in Spain. Spain, even though we have harsh winters up in the mountains, most of the areas where we hunt roebucks, which are low areas, the winters are, are, very, are very mild compared to those other European countries where the winters are very, very strong. It's very difficult for the road deer to survive. So, so harsh winters. And that that's makes, makes a big, big difference. Most of our robot hunts in Spain are planned for three hunting days, although everyone is welcome to extend the, uh, their stay in Spain with us, of course. Those three days should be plenty of time for us to, to, uh, to be able to harvest uh, some very good quality bugs. Hunting a site where we're mostly focused in making sure that our hunters have a great and successful hunt, we're very much focused in, in making sure that the hunters and family members have a very warm and charming experience while they are staying with us in Spain. We love to take care of some very good accommodations. These might be private lodges or four to five star hotels. Uh, not far away from the hunting areas, which obviously makes it very comfortable, especially in the mornings where we usually have to wake up very early to go, to go hunting. Everything to do with gastronomy and, and the food and appetizers and wines, gastronomic culture. So we try all, also to, to make that part of the experience of, of every hunter who stays with us for, for robot hunting or any other hunt. One of the things that I mostly enjoy about hunting Robux is probably how tricky they are. I used to hunt in the mountains, in the snow, all kind of goats or, or, or sheep, but uh, hunting Robux is, is very tricky and very challenging. Even though they're very territorial, sometimes for whatever reason they decide not to show up or there's something going on that they do not like and, and it becomes a, a nightmare sometimes.
there's always a good chance, of course, and that's why we do it. Uh, and, and that's why we give hunters a minimum of three hunting days, because we know that it can be very, it can get tricky. If you want to live the uh, best robot hunting experience in Spain, you just have to get a hold of us at Camino Real Hunting Consultants. Stay tuned.